Hindustan Aeronautics has delivered two Dornier 228 aircraft to the Guyana Defence Force yesterday. An Indian Navy P-8 Maritime Patrol aircraft has landed at Itsugi Air Base in Japan, to conduct strategic exercises with the Japanese Maritime Self-Defence Force. The chairman of Solar Industries has confirmed that the cost-effectiveness of Pinaka system compared to similar weapon systems has attracted interest from many countries, and talks are underway for potential procurement. The Indian Air Force has expressed keen interest in the development of reconfigurable phased array radar systems integrated into drones, that offers faster scanning and improved tracking accuracy. Union Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has announced, that India's defence exports have crossed the milestone of 21,000 crore rupees for the first time, which is a spectacular growth of 32.5% over the previous fiscal year. The Indian Army has issued a project sanction order to two vendors, for the design and development of prototypes for the tactical communication system. The Vice Chief of Indian Navy visited Goa shipyard, and he was briefed about the progress of various naval projects being executed by the shipyard. The Indian Air Force will showcase its might and capability to carry out high-octane operations during the Gigan Shakti 2024 exercise in a realistic environment from today. India's new space research and technologies participated in discussions with the US Army's DEVCOM Army Research Laboratory, to explore potential collaboration opportunities. An unnamed Indian Navy official has said, that Spanish-built S-80-plus class submarines could be a perfect fit under Project 75I, as it has a submerged displacement of 2,965 tons, and boasts a larger capacity compared to the 1,860-ton German Type 214 submarine, which translates to the ability to carry more fuel, thus enabling longer missions and greater operational range. Cost also appears to be an advantage for the S-80+, and it is believed to be a more economical option compared to the German offer. The Aeronautical Development Agency has issued a tender for maintenance testing and field service support of F-404 and F-414 engines, that will ensure the operational readiness and continued effectiveness of Indian Air Force's Tejas Mark I and Mark IA fleet and future fighter jets like the Tejas Mark II and AMCA. In a major development, the DRDO has completed design phase of the indigenous long-range surface-to-air missile program, that will now pave the way for the creation of crucial components that will form the LRSAM system. It will have three interceptors with a range of 150 km, 250 km and 350 km, to counter stealth fighters, conventional aircraft, ballistic and cruise missiles, precision-guided munitions and unmanned aerial vehicles. It will start testing in 2025, and will be ready for induction by the end of 2028. Former Chief of Indian Navy retired Admiral Arun Prakash has called for an expedited development program for the K-series of submarine-launched ballistic missiles equipped with MIRF warheads, as it will offer a distinct advantage due to their mobility and stealth, making them a critical factor in maintaining credible deterrence. The DRDO is expected to test 5,000 km range K-5 SLBM with MIRF warheads this year, and the RDO has already been given permission to develop 8,000 km range K-6 SLBM. Today's Top 3 Comments